Hello from Osnabrück, Germany. And uh, I'm concerned about our abilities in pushing hands if we cannot train much with different partners. And so I would like to invite you to do some exercises uh, to, yeah, to nurture and train and work on these abilities. And I would invite you to take a wide bow stance the front foot straight forward, the back foot to the corner, but the feet shoulder wide apart. And um, we sit in the center, we feel the connection into the ground. Both feet are, uh, yeah, the same weight is on both feet. And we imagine we are pushed at the chest. And uh, we, we imagine the partner comes, we can imagine slow or fast. First, we go very slow. And when the pressure arrives, we melt at the point of contact, soften, and mentally we go into the ground under the back foot. And now we sit back and turn at the same time. We relax and straighten the front leg. We relax the front knee, but the back knee stays. The hips are letting go and we can go to both sides. Imagine the pressure from yang to yin. And we want our partner to the back corner. Mentally, we can follow and send him back. And if we first go back, it may be too late. If we turn too fast and don't sit back, it can also be too late. It's important to get the timing of sitting back and turning gradually, slowly. And we don't drop the back knee. The front knee relaxes and we sit back and turn. So we try the other side. The left foot forward. We are in the center, the hips seated upright. And we imagine the pressure on the chest. We sit back and turn at the same time. If it goes faster, we can go faster. We can imagine. And we imagine the partner coming towards us and we send him to the back corner, sitting back and turning. And what is important is the, the yielding and neutralizing. Neutralizing we create through sinking into the ground under the back foot, sitting back and turning completely relaxed, upright, no force needed. And another exercise, if we take the right bow stance again, is if the arm is involved, we can go back first, but in going back, we relax the front elbow, the front knee, and the other arm comes up. And then we stay on the back foot and we roll back. Ward of arm, we are sitting back on the center line, neutralizing the force and sending the partner to the back corner. Sitting back and then we turn. Because we have the arm, we can first sit back and then roll. So we try the other side again. We are in the center, upright, relaxed. And we imagine the pressure on elbow and wrist joint. The elbow is dropping, the front knee is relaxing, and then we turn and stay on the back foot. Sitting back and then we turn. If it goes fast, we can go fast. And we imagine different 
kind of pressures, sitting back, then turning. And then we try to push the air. We take a right bow stance again, and we imagine we are putting our palms on the arms of our partner. We sit back away from the hands and we let the ground under both feet draw us into the center. We break the base, relax every muscle, and then we release the force from the back foot to the fingertips. When we sit back, we relax the front knee, stay on the center line. And now we send a wave of sinking from the top of the head, through the body, through the legs, into the ground, under the feet. Every muscle relaxes. And in the release, we stay completely relaxed, centered and grounded. Back, under and forward, release. Then we try the other side. The back foot draws the ground under the back foot away from the hands. The ground under both feet draws under and forward, back knee down, front knee forward. And while we relax, while we send the force out, we relax the lower back, the shoulders sink and the hands come forward. Sitting back, breaking the base, relaxing shoulders and elbows. Then we release to the fingertips. Relaxing down, release the force to the fingertips. Uh, what I would also suggest is uh, doing patterns just without a partner. It's possible. I do it in my teaching and it feels almost easier for Zoom teaching uh, than doing the form. And uh, yeah, you can also take one part. You can imagine press, push and uh, take uh, parts of the form and imagine a partner. And I hope uh, we can soon push together again. Thank you very much. Have a great day.